Hi, my name is Todd Waldecker, and I'm the professor of clarinet at the Middle Tennessee State University School of Music. Thanks so much for joining me for these Mid-State Audition tricks and tips and advice. Uh, I hope the things we're gonna discuss in this video you find helpful as you're practicing and preparing for this audition. And I wanna congratulate you for preparing and taking this audition. We learn so much about ourselves and our musicianship improves so much every, take, every time we take an audition. So congratulations. I wanna go over a few points that the, could help you that the judges are definitely listening for in your uh, performance. And then I'll follow that with a performance of the audition excerpts, both at performance speed and a slower speed so you can practice along. But let's get down to the things here that judges are listening for. Number one, is your tone, your sound. Judges do not care how fast or high or loud you play if you don't play with a good sound. So play with the best tone you can at all times. Use adequate air, a good stable embouchure, and your best read. You want to always play with a great tone. Number two, steady tempo. Judges are listening for a steady tempo. It's better you play the entire piece slower and steady than play it faster and have to slow down at the hard parts and things like that. As soon as you begin playing, the judges behind the screen begin to keep uh, the tempo. And so whatever tempo you start is the tempo they expect you to keep the entire time. So you'll need to practice daily with a metronome. Daily with a metronome. Also, I encourage you to record yourself and listen back and see if you really are keeping a steady beat. Steady beat is an objective thing that judges listen for and it can either get you lots of points or cost you lots of points. Number three, correct rhythms. Figure out the rhythms, almost mathematically if you need to, because again, this is an objective thing that the judges can evaluate you on. If you have questions about rhythms, not sure how to figure them out, talk to your band director, talk to your other clarinet player friends. Uh, people will help you if you can't figure out the rhythm. Don't guess, you wanna make sure it is accurate. Number four, note accuracy. Well, this is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, you wanna play the right notes at all times. If you have questions about funny notes, ask someone. I know there's some double sharps and some strange things in these pieces this year. They're trying to trip, trick you and trip you, so ask for help if you're not sure what the pitches are. Number five, articulation. I think a lot of people give up easy points in this department because they really don't pay a lot of attention to articulation. You must be very, very deliberate with articulation. Uh, the judges cannot hear your intentions. They can just hear what's coming out of your clarinet. You do not want to mumble. <laughs> slurs need to be clean slurs. Articulations, clean, clean. Staccatos, clean. Legato tonguing, clean. Again, record yourself and see if your intentions are really coming across in your performance. Next one, intonation. Tune your clarinet before you begin practicing. If we get used to playing out of tune, that's how we're gonna perform. So tune up your clarinet, the judges can hear if you're playing out of tune. Next category, dynamic contrast. Again, the judges cannot hear your intentions. They want you to demonstrate what's on the page. So when you see a forte, go for it. When you see piano, go for it. But remember, always keep a beautiful sound. That's the most important thing. And the last thing to think about is the style of the piece. This can actually make it more fun for you to practice and perform. So when I'm playing a piece, I try to uh, imagine, does it sound like a video game battle? If so, play it with a lot of energy like that. Does it sound like a lullaby? And I try to play it like that. So it's fun if you can kind of attach a style to the excerpts. Since our music doesn't have words, we have to work a little harder sometimes to come up with imagery but do that and the style will come across in your performance. So preparing for auditions, one thing you can do is practice performing. This is something I encourage all my students to do. So grab 10 of your closest friends or teachers or family members or even the mailman and play your audition in front of someone. Record yourself, just 
put yourself on there and just record yourself. And then after the performance, evaluate your performance and see if what you did uh, is what you intended to do. So recording yourself in a pressure situation can really, really help. And if you do it 10 times, then when you go for the mid-state audition, that'll just be time number 11, nothing special. So I hope these tips helped you a bit. And now let's get on to the performance of the excerpts. One, two, three, four. <laughs> practice tempo. This is 64 beats per minute, so it's 20 clicks slower, so feel free to practice along with this as you learn it. One, two, three, four. Here's the seven and eight lyrical excerpt at performance tempo of eighth note equals 100. Here's the same excerpt at a practice tempo, 20 clicks slower, so eighth note equals 80. One, two, three, four. 